Now this illustration deals with the sizing an auxiliary gutter or, or even a wire way, uh, uh, you know, uh, really. Now notice we have a feeder at the top of the uh, auxiliary gutter, uh, and those conductors are large. There are uh, three of them, 250 kc mil THHN. Now we are tapping with smaller conductors uh, to the switch in the panel board. So that means 240.21B as in boy of the code is being applied here. Now notice we have a raceway at the top coming into the top of the auxiliary gutter because it's over 24 inches long. But we have nipples that are, uh, uh, you know, in the taps there. We have nipples there. And notice we have three one all THHNs in the uh, sub-panel disconnect switch. To the panel board with the main to the right, we have three four alt uh, THHNs. So now, quick count one, if we used a four by four auxiliary gutter, and I will uh, call this out again, the back inside cover of each design book, volume one and two, has the standard size auxiliary gutters that you could purchase, and a four by four is 16. Now, you're allowed 20% fill in that auxiliary gutter. So 20% of 16 is 3.2 square inch area. 3.2 square inch area is greater, say, than 2.7186 when we do the calculation. Now, the quick count two says if you don't want to use the method of quick count one, then just take the 20% fill, divide it into 100, and get the reciprocal of 20, which would be five, and then take the cross-sectional area of all your conductors coming into it, say, and that'd be five times, say, 2.7186, and that would give you a square inch area of 13.593. And a four by four gutter at 16 square inches is greater than 13.593, so a four by four gutter could be used. Now, this is just a quick calc uh, t uh, performance here so that you know how to uh, size the auxiliary gutter and we're going to do that in the next illustration.